Hello, I'm Leon Miller, Territory Manager here at Ag Yield. Um, today I'll be talking with Don Slama with Hillsborough Equipment and Slama Farms. First off, Don, thanks for your time for coming on and, uh, and chatting with me a little bit. Yeah, thank, thank you. I'm uh, glad we could finally hook up. Uh, I kind of <laughs> screwed you up last week. <laughs> we were supposed to do that and I, I went to a sale and bailed on you. Sorry about that. That's all right. You're, you're a busy guy. I, I, I forgive you on that. Um, right. So Don's been a fixture in the ag community in Wisconsin for, for a really long time. Um, today, we're going to learn a little bit about Don and talk quite a bit about the uh, annual Hillsborough Charity Poll that Don started back in 2008. So let's talk a little about the Hillsborough Charity Poll. But you and I have talked about this. Um, ag Yield is what uh, we were able to get involved last year and I'm looking to do the same thing again this year. Um, I, I personally know people that this has touched. So that to me is you know a big factor for why I want to be involved and Ag Yield wants to be involved as well. But can you tell us a little bit about how it got started um, and uh, kind of go from there? Well, you know, again, in this town of 1300, it seems like there's always somebody got cancer, somebody's, their house catches on fire, they've been in a car wreck or something. So we were always having these benefits. And we, when we still have these benefits, don't, this hasn't eliminated the benefits. But I had a really good friend that, that was a Vietnam veteran and uh, he uh, had some really bad health issues and he didn't, he didn't have nothing. He was the kind of guy, he'd, he'd be dead ass broke and he'd give you the shirt off his back, you know that? And he got really sick and people in town knew it, but being because he really wasn't cool, Nobody had a benefit for him. And I thought that's horseshit. I really did. So I, I told the kids that, hey, let's, um, let's have a tractor pull and raise some money for this guy. You know, and we did. And this was back before we got doing it big time. And uh, um, it worked. And it kind of just grew from that, that uh, uh, there's a lot of good people in the world and there's a lot of sick people in the world you got to help the, the sick people in the world, I think, you know, and, and uh, so we started doing this and then we got tied up with, with, with Lucas oil pro pulling league. And we went and of course we pull a tractor on the national circuit and um, we just thought it'd be cool if we could, we could make this a really big deal. And uh, I went out and pimped a bunch of our, my, my business friends when we started this to donate money for it. You know, this, this poll we put on like this year, it costs us about $180,000 before we ever start. That's what the, the initial fee is. And then we, that doesn't include advertising and, and all that. And, Back when we was doing this, it was around a, probably a hundred thousand. And we had that poll paid for by friends of mine, other business associates, just like yourselves, your company helped us out, you know, and you, you know, you, you, you think of it and, and I've always, I've always thought big. So, you know, if you can reach in your bill, if, if, if you got your billfold and you got a one, a five, a 10, a 20, a 50 or a hundred in there. Does it take any more effort to pull out the hundred than it did the one? No. So instead of going around and, and don't take me wrong, we'll, we'll take a dollar. If somebody wants to donate a dollar, we'll take a dollar. But we, we started out hitting people for $10,000. Now, did we get a lot of people to give $10,000? No, but we had a couple of them and they're still giving 10,000 bucks. Got a lot of people to give five thousand dollars. We got a lot of people to give. You know, you take ten people giving twenty five hundred dollars. That's that's twenty five thousand. You know, that's how you got to look at it when you're when yeah. you're asking for money. You know, and once you got it rolling, people see what it does, and then it's really easy. It's never easy, but it it comes be it comes easier. You know that. Um, so. But you love the sales. So, I mean, this is just another way yeah, to sell, right? Yeah. That's exactly right. And, and, and when you, when, and when you tell somebody, we're not putting a dime of this in our pocket, 
how we got accused of this when we first started that all oh, the Slamas are taking the money and they're, they're just they're just getting rich off in it. Well, go out to our park and look at what we've done. We were very fortunate. Hillsborough's got a great fire department and uh, I'm an honorary fireman and they, I told them what I wanted to do and they said, just run with it. And we've, we have built all the improvements on the track, the bleachers, the lighting, all that we've paid for. They're the firemen and they, it, it's there for this, for the, use we use it for two days out of the year and they can use it for the rest of the time you know that and uh to this day the you know the firemen sell all the beer and for two days work worth of work for about eight hours worth of work they pocket over thirty thousand. you know how many fundraisers the hillsborough fire department have to have to make thirty thousand dollars a lot of pancakes yeah, yeah, <laughs> and a lot of a lot of maybes. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <clears throat> so they they got on board. We had a local snowmobile club that got on board, and then nobody wanted to do it because it was, you know, it's human nature. Jeez, it's we're taking a chance. And when you first start out, just like running a business, starting a business, it don't always go so good the first few years, you know. And we had a bunch of rainouts and all that, but the firemen, snowmobile club. And uh, then we got a church group. We got our local Lutheran church involved in it. And now we got people that want to be involved in it. And this is the Slama philosophy is that if you were good enough to get with me when we started, you still get a bigger piece of the pie. You get to, you know, so yep. we're, we're, we, we could have 20 groups where we're only got about five groups yet, you know that? Because, hey, you got to help those that helped you, you know that? Well, so let's let's talk about that. So you started off, you know, a small operation, you and some buddies kind of working together to get the seed money to get going. Um, for those that don't know about it, kind of, kind of go over, you know, how how large this poll is, um, kind of what what people can expect to see, you know, what, what, um, what kind of classes, all those things. This is, this is, Again, there's PPL, the, the pull, pro, Pulling League organization. It's, it's, it's one of three organiz national organizations in the United States. And the other two are very good organizations. We just elected to go with, with, with these guys. Um, this is one of the premier polls in the United States, put all three organizations together. It, it's, it is there. We'll have six to 7,000 people there on Saturday night. And uh, it, it's televised. Um, we're gonna have it, you're gonna live screen it this year. It's been live screened the last couple of years. Again, I was kind of against live screening because you know, you're sitting in Iowa. If you don't wanna come to Hillsboro, you can, you can watch it, cost you 40 bucks. You don't have to drive here, you don't have to do that. The only bad thing about it, the fire department don't make any money. The church don't make any money. Um, you don't get to see the nice area we got around here. So we, we, we try to make it, and plus that, you don't get to smell the diesel smoke and, and, and all that. It's, you know, it's, it's really good. Um, we try to keep this very, very family oriented. Um, if you listeners out there want to have a good time, want to come see a really good tractor pull, and we don't screw around, we will run 120 units. We start at seven o'clock and we, we say we're starting at seven o'clock. That first tractor is going on the track at seven o'clock. I, I, I always laugh. At, we go to a lot of places in Kentucky and down south and all that. And when they say they're going to start at seven o'clock, hell, it could be quarter after eight. You know, and the people are just content as hell. And I always say that's why we won the war, you know, meaning the Civil War, because we're on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rambling on, but I'm just, the stuff we do is just, it just we, we try to run it like a business. We really do. And make, make our customers happy. So, so now folks like myself, uh, you know, I, there's, you guys have got, Hillsboro being a small community, I think there's campgrounds available for folks to bring trailers, tents, that kind oh, of yeah. stuff. Yeah, we've got, we, we've got, uh, oh, probably 10 acres 
of what you'd call primitive camping. No power, no water. We, we, we've got 13 hookups that we built, but them are all taken. And people come and camp there now. We started out with uh, half a dozen. And heck, now we're up to 200, you know that? So that's gonna be our next problem is, or not a problem, but that's our next thing that we gotta contend with is having room for all the campers, you know that? And we, we, charge, you, we, we charge you 50 bucks a night to camp there. And like we tell everybody, just write the check to the charity. It's a 501C corp. So you can camp and you write it off, you can deduct it off your taxes, you know? And we, we cut the grass. It, it's not like a regular fairgrounds. The, uh, it's, it's grassy now, but when you come there, we got to cut the lawn. Is, it's like a lawn. We pick all the grass up. I got a customer that, that uh, sprays barns for bugs and that. He comes out beforehand, so we have no mosquitoes for three days. Oh, wonderful. So we, we, you know, we, again, we, do, we try to think of everything. Again, it's a very well-run small town event and most small town events you ever went to are very well run and they're and the people that there are there are having just come to have fun and that's what we're we're looking for we we have uh the belt buckle deal which is an average it's like a rodeo and we, we're out of my, my my wife totally believes in what we're doing she just hates tractor pulling she just hates tractor pulling so she doesn't show up but her and I were out to the rodeo in Vegas, the national finals. And they, you know, the, as for the go round, you get a big buckle, you know, for the best average. So we're sitting there and she said, you know, for, and this is the exact words, you know, for that stupid tractor pull you put on, you ought to give an average buckle. So I do some checking Montana silver Smith that does it for the road, for the uh, rodeo people. We give that away. So, out of, out of the two day event, whoever pulls, pulls it the farthest gets this buckle. And uh, it's quite a prestigious deal. People really like that. We even go a little bit farther and we honor some person in each class that has died. It, it might be a, a farmer customer of ours. It might be uh, your dad. Uh, I'm just, we just pick an in, my son-in-law passes passes those out, and he'll give a, a rundown that Joe Blow was a he was a a farmer, and he 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 was active in FFA and all that, and just so they and and these people here, I'll show you what one looks like. This this is what it looks like right there. Oh yeah, yeah. So in the bottom here, this happens to have. Tony Capozo, he was a super farm puller from Michigan that passed away. And he pulled with another organization, but he's a good friend of mine. And so we honored him, you know, that. And it works out good for the family. They all like, you know, it's just, it's just another neat, neat little deal. Um, you ask what we have for classes. You know, we're going to have super farm. We have mini rods. We have two wheel drives. Uh, we have pro stock. We have modified. That's the 10,000 horsepower guys. Uh, heavy, heavy alcohol tractors. I, th I think we've got nine classes this year. You know, there's a little bit for everybody, you know, and you'll see everybody pull twice. Um, we have a Friday after Friday night show starts at starts at seven o'clock. And then on Saturday afternoon, we have a show that starts at, at noon. And then we have one that starts at six o'clock. Do you have any steam engines? Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, so um, that's kind of in a nutshell. It's it, it's it's a cool deal. We're we're gonna we're gonna continue to do this for as long as I'm around. I I, I hope the kids carry it on after I'm gone. But you never know. So I really commend you for doing this video, so we can get this we we get this word out to more people all the time. Um, but uh, yeah, if they got any questions, uh, we got a website. It's uh, charitypull.com. Um, my phone number's there. You, you, can, you can call me anytime you want. you got a question. Um, my, my son thinks I'm nuts because I put my phone number out there and I get a million dumb human questions, you know, that. But that's what I, I'm here for. So uh, 
I'm surprised your phone hasn't rang since we've been on this. Uh, I, 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 I put it on mute. <laughs> <laughs> we've all uh, also, I know your Facebook page, Sally runs a lot of that. That's active and that will probably be picking up speed, uh, some steam here. Yeah, um, we. I think the charity poll's got a Facebook page and uh, otherwise Hillsborough Equipment's got a Facebook page, you know. Yep. Um, and uh, and it, you guys do have a, just a beautiful area around there. It's um, if, for those that haven't been in the Driftless area, um, you know, drive across the Mississippi like I do. It, it's it's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, you might want to have a, a CD or an audio book because you're going to lose cell phone reception and everything else. But it's worth the trip, and it's it's um, it's the reason why they call it God's country. That's for sure. Yes, yes, it is. No, that's that's for sure. Well, great, Don. I want to thank you so much talking about the Hillsboro Charity Poll coming up here August uh, 11th and 12th. Um, as always, I'm Landon Miller, uh, Territory Manager at Bag Yield, and thanks for uh, coming in. And Don, again, thanks for your time. It was always a pleasure talking with you and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank, thank you guys, Landon. I appreciate it.